And that was the time that I knew that I lost my best friend. Not, not in that sense. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I've uh, known each other a lot longer, but what I can promise you is that's not the case. From the minute he met you, he's adored you so much. And every time we do anything, crap. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> so now, any time that we're able to spend time together, and I love spending time with both Drew and Haley, but whenever Haley's not around, Haley is always there because he's always thinking about it. Like we go on vacation, we do anything, and he's always like, Haley's gonna love this. Haley needs this. And it's just that spirit that, you know, like I knew that she was gonna be the one for so long. And the fact that it's come to this point in time now, and all of that spirit and y'all's hard work to get here, and this, like the magic that is coming, like of this day. Also, I needed need a, need a yeah. drink. No. <laughs> Just the, the magic that you guys make. Drew, I've always known you had it in you. And Haley is that, that captain of the boat, because somebody needs to steer you straight. Yeah. Um, but we're here because of y'all's spirit, because of y'all's energy, because you made it happen. So I'm super happy to have another best friend now in Haley. And I just again wanted to say that I'm so proud of you. Melinda and Danani are so proud of you. Gunk is so proud of you. And you know, those of us that couldn't be here today, they're very proud of you, and I wish they could be there. Can I have my class, actually? Well, <laughs> sorry, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Um, but I just want to propose a toast to Drew and Haley. I love you guys so much, and we came a long way for this. <laughs>